Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. My name is Laura, and today I'm going to be doing Not a Floss 2, number one. Okay, so for those of you new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. Uh, I am starting to work on cross stitch, and my good friend Bev decided to send me an awesome cross stitch pattern uh, that she got from Etsy, and it was a downloadable pattern. She bought it. And she got all of the floss and sent it to me. So I have been working on that. Here is the pattern. It is a Siamese cat. And for those of you, again, that are new to the channel, I have two Lilac Point Siamese cats. So Bev thought it would be good to send me a Siamese cat pattern. And I'm very, very grateful to her for that. So I have started working on that. And this is how far I've gotten. So if you look at... Wrong way. <laughs> So if you look at the, the image, I've gotten the eyes done and pretty much around the eyes done. Um, I will say, <laughs> this has been a learning process for me. I have very bad eyesight and I have, um, I'm nearsighted so I can't see far away. I can see up close, but I have to be like right up on it to see it. Um, some of the stitches have been, you know, not great, but I, I've torn the whole thing out and redone it you know, one time before, so I'm not tearing anything else out. Um, and this is on a 14 count Ada, uh, is the fabric. Um, I really like 14 count. I think that's probably what I'm going to stick with right now for anything, you know, that I do going forward. So, um, but it's a lot of fun. I didn't think I would enjoy it and I have enjoyed it. It's fun to sit here and listen to, you know, YouTube or an audiobook or even, I like classical music, so I listen to classical music. Um, it's relaxing, believe it or not. In the beginning, it wasn't. <laughs> I was very frustrated in the beginning and would get a little stressed out, but now it's it's okay. Um, I still have some issues, and I'm sure people can help me with that. Is when I'm like when I go across, and then I have to come and start back another row, um, like the back. I don't know if you can see the back. The back's pretty pretty messed up but you know what I don't care so anyway so that's what I have been working on um, and it's nice to change things up a little bit from diamond painting don't get me wrong I love diamond painting um, I just wanted to do something different and I also want to learn how to crochet I actually have yarn here and a crochet hook and I just need to learn how to do it um, I know Mrs. Coffee has some beginner videos and there are a lot of other beginner videos out there so I just need to, you know, watch those. But for right now, I'm going to work on cross stitch. Um, so I'm keeping everything in my awesome random crap bag. Isn't this great? My uh, stepmother gave this to me as a um, birthday present. Um, so I've got everything in here right now, my floss and all of that, but I was having trouble because all I'm doing is keeping floss Y'all can see that. Keeping floss in these little Ziploc bags so that, you know, I don't lose it. Um, so I was trying to think of a better way to store things. So I talked to Bev. Let me put that down. I talked to Bev and she told me what to get. So um, I've got a few packages over here. I did order some things off Etsy. Um, the first package I got is from Stash LLC on Etsy. And I'll have all the links down below so you can check them out. All right. So I got, oh, I also got needles from here. Okay, so this is Floss Away. Um, it's the instant organizer. So basically what it is, you get this big ring and then you have all of these um, Ziploc bags that you put in the ring. Um, so that way you can just stick your floss in the Floss Away. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, in fact, it even has the directions on the front. It shows you, you know, you put the floss in the bag and then you put all the bags on the ring. So let me know in the comments below, do any of you have a floss away and do any of you organize your floss this way? Um, I think this is going to be a good way to keep everything, you know, all in one place. Um, I know there are like bags that you can put um, bobbins in, but I'm not going to sit there and thread a bobbin. I'm not going to do it. 
too much effort for me right now. So as a beginner. Um, okay, so I got the floss away. And then I also got some, she put some washi tape on here. Hold on. I also got some Bohen needles. Um, if y'all can see that. And these are a size 24. Um, everything that I looked at online said that if you are working on 14 count Ada, you should go with a size 24 needle. Let me know in the comments below if that is correct um, or if I need to go up a size to so like a 26, I think it was. Um, let me know. Okay, so that's what I got from Stash LLC. Um, and I will tell you, let's see here. Okay, so the Floss Away bag organizer with a three inch ring and a hundred bags, there are a hundred bags in this, uh, was $8.79. And then the Bowen, am I pronouncing that right? Bowen, Bohen, uh, size 24 tapestry needles uh, were $3.09 um, for the pack of six. Okay, so that made my total $17.29. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so that was the first thing that I got. I'll bet a lot of you were like, I never thought Laura would ever get into cross stitch. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so either, so believe me. Okay, this is from Farmer's Attic. Um, I also got, some people had recommended for me to get ball tip needles. Um, and again, I got a size 24. Um, you're not going to be able to see this up close, but... At the end of where it would be sharp, uh, there are balls on the end of the needle. Don't mind my nails, I need to redo them. Um, there are balls on the end of it. So uh, these are Sullivan's Easy Guide Ball Tip Needle in a size 24. Don't mind my computer, it just needs air apparently. Um, these were, I got two needles in this. And these were a little expensive, I thought, for uh, $8. So uh, let me know if any of you use the ball tip needle. I was stabbing myself <laughs> constantly doing this when I got short on my uh, floss when I was cross stitching. So I figured this might help um, as well. And it might be easier to see it when you're trying to, you know, get the, the floss through the fabric. So, okay. And that was from the Farmer's Attic. Um, they provide punch needle, cross stitch, wool, um, and quilt patterns, threads, flosses, fabrics, linen, books, notions, and more. They had a lot of things to choose from. Um, so again, I'm new to cross stitch. I'm not sure who to buy things from on Etsy. Um, I've just been kind of looking things up myself and just seeing, you know, what's out there. So, okay. And then, this is the favorite part. So I bought a cross stitch kit. Um, I looked at doing just the downloadable patterns um, and there are a lot of really awesome downloadable patterns out there. Um, but then I would have to get all the floss and with me being so new, I'm not sure if I would get all of the right things and you know, get the right type of fabric and all of that. So I decided I'm just gonna buy a kit that has everything in it that I need. So, I got this from, hmm, who did I get this from? Um, oh, hold on, I'll tell you. Uh, I got this from Hixie Soft, H-I-X-X-Y-S-O-F-T. And this did come from uh, the UK. And I got it very, very quickly. I'm so excited. So, this is a Bothy Threads Cut. Um, I don't know if. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with that. I was not, but when I saw this and there's a series of these, I was like, oh my goodness, because I love, love, love fairy tales. So, um, yeah. And this is on 14 count color printed Ada. Um, oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? That is tales of, sorry, my lights. Hold on. There we go. Tales of, uh, Wizard of Oz tales, fairy tales. Isn't that amazing? And it's all black floss. 
Um, there's some silver, like if you look in the back, like that's, that's the Ada. Here, we're going to take it out. I can't show you the pattern, but we're going to take it out. I was so excited when I saw this. I was like, ooh. Um, because this way, I don't have to change my thread colors all the time. That's the biggest issue I'm having right now is changing, um, is when I have to change the thread colors for, you know, often. That gets a little tedious for me. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this fabric. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, this is big, y'all. This is big. Isn't that pretty? Oh, so excited. It's just so bright and cheery. Okay, so that is the um, fabric. And then this is how the floss comes. It's all black and it's got silver strands in it. And if you see, there's a red, yeah, there's a red glittery floss in there. Because if you look close at the image, I don't want to show you the pattern. Right here are the red uh, slippers from the Wicked Witch. Isn't that amazing? So that's going to be like bright red glittery. Um, the silver thread, I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Um, this is so hard to show you. So where there's gray in the crown right there, that's all going to be silver in the wands. But it's got all the characters up here. The Tin Man, the Scarecrow, the Lion, Dorothy, and Toto. Oh my gosh, the Yellow Brick Road. Of course, the um, castle, the house that fell. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm a huge, huge, huge Wizard of Oz fan. Um, I know a lot of you don't know that um, because I haven't really done any diamond paintings or any you know, coloring in related to Wizard of Oz, but I grew up on Wizard of Oz and I loved, loved, loved the original Wizard of Oz, you know, black and white. Ugh, one of my favorites. So that is my next endeavor, which would probably take me until I'm six feet under, but I saw this and I had to get it. There's a whole series of these. There's like Beauty and the Beast, um, Snow White. They're just all kinds. And they're all with this black floss um, and a, a, you know, colored fabric. It's just awesome. So I will put the link for this down below. You can check out other Bothy Threads kits. And again, I'm sure a lot of you that are cross stitchers are very familiar with um, Bothy Threads kits. So that is what I have um, for today to show you that I've purchased. Uh, oh, look, this one came with a needle as well. That's good because I keep losing my needles. I'm just, I'm so excited about this. This fabric, y'all. This fabric. Oh, it's just so pretty. Look at that. I mean, so pretty. Ugh, oh, okay. Now this floss, I'm, I'm a little concerned about how, like, how do you separate that? And I mean, I know it's tied with a silver ribbon right now, but, um, yeah, let me know in the comments below the best way to separate this. Look at that red. Look right there. There's a strand of the red. I know you can't see it. Oh my gosh. You can see it. There it is. There's some glitter in it. Oh, so beautiful. So this is way outside of my comfort zone, but um, I had to get it. I mean, it was Wizard of Oz, you guys. Come on. Um, the pattern. Wow. Okay. The pattern looks very simple. It's just X's. Um, of course, because there's no color change, so you're not going to have any different symbols. Um, oh, there are a couple of different symbols, I guess, for the silver thread and the red thread. Lovely, lovely. So, yes, I will keep you posted on that. Um, and I don't know how often I'm going to do these not a floss tubes um, <laughs> because I'm new to this. I'm not real sure 
how to do this. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a whip and chat while I try to work on my um, Siamese cat that I'm working on. Uh, I don't know how easy or hard that would be for me to cross stitch while doing a whip and chat. I'm not sure. I might have to test that first and see. So, but I am enjoying it and I want to thank Bev for, you know, pushing me outside of my comfort zone and getting me to try something new. Um, it has definitely lifted my spirits. I kind of had gotten into a, I, I would call it not a slump, but a frump. <laughs> I was just kind of like, okay, I'm going to diamond paint. That's what I do. You know, I've just been in like this, I'm doing the same thing over and over. So I wanted to try something different. Um, so when I started the cross stitch, I was actually really frustrated. I ripped the whole thing out. I was like, I'm not going to do this. And then I was like, you know, I have to do this. Bev sent this to me as a gift. The least I can do is try and finish it. So I started over again and I watched, um, all kinds of videos. I watched Citerisa has a great um, playlist of beginner uh, cross stitch videos that I watched that. Um, I watched a couple of other people that were recommended to me um, as far as like how to start a stitch with the loop method and your basic, you know, your basic cross stitch, you know, the X. Um, so that really helped uh, a lot. So anybody that is new to cross stitch, I highly recommend just putting in the search box and YouTube beginner cross stitch. There are so many awesome videos out there that will definitely help you. Um, because having someone try to show you how to do it, um, like when Bev tried to show me how to do it, it, I mean, I, I got it kind of, but it was a lot easier to be able to watch a video, pause it, do a stitch, play, pause, do a stitch, you know, it was a lot easier to do it that way for me personally. Um, I don't know. Let me know how all of you learned how to cross stitch. Did you learn on your own? Did you learn it from your mom, your grandmother, a relative, a friend? You know, let me know. I'd be really interested to know how you learned, you know, how to do cross stitch. Um, the other cool thing is my mom, uh, I got her into diamond painting and she likes diamond painting. Um, she's not sure if she's going to do another diamond painting right now. Um, she's almost finished with her first one. But she saw my cross stitch and she was like, you know what? I used to do needlepoint and I think I want to try that again. So I'm not sure the difference between needlepoint and cross stitch. Let me know in the comments below. I'm sure someone knows. Um, but she is going to try, you know, get a small needlepoint kit and she is going to try and do that again. So that's exciting. So now we also have something we can talk about um, while we're doing, while I'm doing cross stitch and she's doing needlepoint. So I'm very excited about that. Um, these past, you know, this past year and a half has been, you know, emotionally tough for a lot of people. And uh, for those of us that struggle with anxiety and depression, um, I think it really helps to find, you know, new crafts and new things to do uh, just to, you know, get your mind off of things. So uh, this has definitely helped me. So again, thank you, Bev. Thank you to everyone who is watching this um, new video that I'm doing. I'm really excited about this. Really excited about this. Um, let me know if anyone else has this kit. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Um, I, I wasn't going to do this face-to-face, -face, but I looked at other Floss 2 videos, and everybody did face-to-face, -face, so I figured, okay, I'll do face-to-face. -face. So I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And again, let me know in the comments below um, how you learned about cross stitch, how you started, what kit you're working on. Um, yeah, I would love to hear anything you have to say um, or any suggestions about cross stitch for me as a beginner. I'd really appreciate it. Hope y'all have a great rest of your week. Bye guys.